So in the third and last part of this first tutorial, we're going to make uh, mainly the fluffy chest, nice clumpy hair, and uh, some white strands. So for this, we're going to do the same we did before, just make a new hair system. This time we're going to make it from scratch. So uh, change it to hair, now add a new vertex group, name it properly, assign it on the vertex groups, settings so it controls the length of our the density actually of our hair and just start painting so now you're actually painting particles and I think it painted a bit on the back so select that remove in edit mode in the under the vertex groups button great let's change the length a bit smaller and enable children so I've been asked about the hair on the chest for Coral, and that's just one simple setting, which is called clamp. So basically what this setting does is just gathers all the children particles to the either the tip or the bottom of the parent particle. You can also tweak the shape of this, otherwise it will be like a triangle, while negative numbers give you more pointy shape and positive numbers give you more like rounded, so it's nice for like feathers for example. So that's pretty much it. Let's uh, add a proper material, or we can make it use the second one for now. Um, just make the random length a bit more to make it more messy. And enable spline for better rendering. And let's comb it a little bit. Oh, yeah, a bit rough. And a bit rough. And now let's comb it down. Particle mode. Make sure you select the particle system in the options panel on the left, otherwise you will be editing other par other particle systems. So, save it down. Not a lot actually, then name it properly in the modifiers, disable the other ones, and let's see how it renders. That's it. <laughs> it was easy. Now, uh, they are a bit long, the neck, so let's just assign the same vertex group used before for length. Let's use it here too. So we don't have to make a new one, but in case you need, you can always make it. Let's see how it renders with the base hair. Okay, it blends overall nicely. So basically that's the effect. It was just one setting, the clamp setting. Now let's trick the radical groups a bit more so we can make it look nicer. By the way, here we changed the clumpiness setting for the entire particle system, but you can control that with a vertex group as well. I'm I didn't do it right here, but you can always do it. Just make a new hair, uh, just make a new vertex group, paint over, and then select on the vertex groups panel in the particle settings. Select uh, the one for clump. You can also use it for roughness. There's really a lot of stuff to play with there. Tweaking. So this is hair particles, lots of tweaking. It's almost like modeling, but as a hairdresser. If you need more particles in a certain place, you can always add more with the add brush. Didn't use it right here, but you can always see. Maybe render smaller, see how it looks. It better. It will look better with the textures. Let's make some parts a bit longer. Let's come that part.
Now let's use the length brush. Just clicking around you can make your hair longer or you can shrink it if you hold shift while painting. can also use a smooth brush and that's pretty much all lots of tweaking tick 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 render yeah better let's let's make it more messy with the random settings to perfect right now and I have a long hair so it shading looks a bit better okay that's overall better but still let's add more messiness now with a new particle system for long strands individual strands all along the, all over the body so let's make it from scratch again hair long hair long change it to hair type now select the vertex group for the density we already have one no need to make a new one add children not that many children a bit less less parent particles and less children less children particles shorter and messy of course there strand render of course too so these are the basic settings and random length is important this line and that's it those are all the basic settings we use uh, let's make it use a, in a specific material let's make a new one let's copy the settings from a previous one hair base and press the number two there so it, it's a local copy it's a unique copy so we don't mess with the other material and let's see if it's working change the color yeah it is working because we specify this channel number four in the particle settings make it a bit thinner make it a bit wider and I think the yeah the hair base texture is the hair base is just too long so let's make it shorter and you could make it shorter by uh, changing the particle settings property but it's better if we actually do it from the blend texture itself So let's make it shorter. Okay, then it starts to appear. White strands. Let's make a new copy. So it, if we don't mess with the texture from the previous material, the hair base. And this one we can make it longer. And more back here at the bottom, even. Hair base a bit shorter, even. And okay that starts to look a bit better let's make a separate material for the fluffy chest just like we did before we select the hair base material and then make a copy so we only modify this one and the same for the gradient so we can have independent length in each particle system in each, in each material because maybe you want the fluffy chest to have a different length or a different color, different texture. So it's always nice to have all separate. Let's make everything a bit more transparent so they blend better together. And that should be it. 
about time we move to the color stuff. Let's add color in the next chapter for texturing.